The field marshal is waiting for news. I've got reports from four other teams who have successfully destroyed supply convoys. But one team still hasn't checked in. Is everything all right? I needed some time alone, to clear my head. I think we could all use a little of that. Especially now. I hate to interrupt this rare moment of calm, but an urgent matter requires your attention. Members of the Dark Council have insisted on sharing their concerns about the hidden chain. Particularly the alarming increase in violent attacks on non-Mandalorian targets. They want a meeting with you. Yesterday, if possible. I don't understand what they're expecting to hear from me. They've got it in their heads that you know something that'll make it all go away, and even if you can't, they want to hear it straight from you. It certainly doesn't help that the increased surveillance of Shay's movements has provided nothing useful since she disappeared. We had some of our best people telling her. But if Mandalore the Avenger doesn't want to be found... Her absence during all of this has the potential to paint us in a very poor light. If the Dark Council is sniffing around, let's make sure they don't hear about Shay. I agree. And if you can put their fears to rest, perhaps they will ease their scrutiny while we find her. Uh, speaking of, looks like our delay tactics didn't work. They're more insistent than I thought. I'll find a suitable room for the meeting. Everything will be ready when you are. Kind of you to spare us a moment of your time. Your associates were adamant that there was no way to work this discussion into your schedule. No matter how many times I reminded them that your contributions to the Empire are vital to its survival. You and I share something that few others can truly understand. What it means to lead. To be the one who must make the hardest decisions. Like how to deal with assets who create more trouble than they are worth. I've dispatched a task force to monitor the activity of these hidden chain Mandalorians, as well as those who oppose them. They tread perilously close to violating Imperial jurisdiction. This troublesome little quarrel among the Mandalorians, it cannot continue. All that effort, only to come to the same conclusion I presented in an extensive report about the hidden chain assault on Ord Mantell. Darth Zarian is right. This war among the Mandalorians cannot be allowed to spread further. 
We will end it if we must, by any means necessary. Surveillance and documentation, all in defense of the Empire, are the only actions we have taken thus far. Krovos demanded we share our findings with you. Why else do you think we were so insistent about this meeting? The truth of the matter is, we have given those who are still loyal to Shea Vizsla ample opportunity to deal with this issue. What can you tell us about their progress? Can Mandalore guarantee an end to the war before our hand is forced? I appreciate your assurances, but I would prefer to hear this straight from the source. Whatever that is, certainly it can wait. I see. You must understand this is not a conversation to be left unresolved for long. Do I make myself clear? We will reconvene very soon. It's me. I think I just found a way to get Darth Maul's holocron away from Hedda. Well, now you have. I can't give you all the details over Holocon. Too many ears listening. Meet me on Mekshaw. When you get here, stop by the Slugfall Cantina. I'll leave you something to help find me.
ready for departure. Enjoy your stay.
You made it. Not that I thought you wouldn't, I'm just relieved is all. up a lot of things hiding out on osis we had to when you don't have a lot of parts to work with you learn to adapt my brother and i used to hide in here a lot rakan was always looking for a way out of chore time at the orphanage i liked helping out but i also liked going on adventures with rakan so i started hiding too i used to dream about coming back here for him my master never knew I didn't want him to think that I was ungrateful or that he'd made the wrong decision, you know, taking someone who kept looking backward. But I... I think he did make the wrong decision. Maybe if I'd said it sooner, none of this would be happening. Hedda wouldn't have the holocron. She wouldn't have her con. No, but people do, even Jedi and Sith. It doesn't matter, we're going to fix this. That holocron is dangerous, more than any of us understand. We have to get it away from Hedda. The machine that she's building, it doesn't work without Darth Null's holocron or without the plans inside it. All we have to do is get the holocron out of there and Hedda loses both the machine and something she never should have had in the first place. It's, um, you'll see what I mean once we get close. The machine is on one of Hedda's most heavily guarded ships. There's only one way on it. And that's with a specially built shuttle one they used to round up prisoners. Don't remind me. I thought I could stop them. The machine, it... I don't really understand how it works. Something reaches out, and it's like turning on a light or a forgotten childhood memory rushing back. If you ever thought you once felt the Force, no matter who you've become, an outlaw, a farmer, a soldier, you feel it again. Hedda said we could... I could help these people. Help them understand their connection to the Force. She said no one else would. She didn't say anything about making them fight in her war. Hedda will do anything to win. She doesn't understand the cost. She doesn't care. Did this Sana Ray person also tell you what Darth Null did for the Emperor with that power? My master told me. I should have listened. I should have never.
What? No. He didn't. That doesn't change anything. Hedda thinks this machine will just awaken powerful soldiers ready to fight for her. But the people Hedda captures, the machine revealed their connection to the Force. It doesn't make them soldiers any more than they were before. But that doesn't matter to Hedda. She wanted me to just... Even if I wanted to, I don't know how to train anyone to fight. If we don't do something, a lot of innocent people will die. We have to destroy the machine. And we have to get as many of Hedda's prisoners as we can off that ship. I wish I had that kind of confidence, but at least I know where to start. I know where we can get the shuttle that we'll need. One of the hidden chain strike teams was sent to take captives from Hutta. They must not have been too careful around the huts. They've run into trouble with the local crime lord and they're stranded there. It's a long shot, but if we can get to Hutta and find out where that strike team ended up, we can steal their shuttle. It'll take us right to Hutta's machine. I don't know all the details, other than the strike team was sent to the Minbusa district. It's probably best if we head there separately. It might raise too much suspicion otherwise. I'll see you there. Good thing you're here. I've already had a few close calls. I'm waiting on a lead to meet with me. Come find us in the cantina. We have a problem.
I know. I keep telling myself that. This was supposed to be simple. But it might be impossible. The Hidden Chain Strike Team assigned to Hutta have to be somewhere in this district. But... Ugh, I don't know what to do. Slaves are rebelling. The Hutt in charge here locked down everything. No one's getting in or out. How do we even start looking for that shuttle? Then I guess now's your chance to show me how that's done. We came here for a reason. I don't want to stop now. Pet has ruined too many lives. And I'm not going to let her hurt anyone else. Right. We have to. Let's go. They might be able to tell us how to find that shuttle, and there has to be something we can do to help them. Get away! We're not part of the uprising! Uh, uh, tell you, Sindhu. We've got nothing to do with those thankless womp rats! First Mandalorians, now you? Those troublemakers are gonna get us all killed! None of this would be happening if everyone would just keep their heads down and their mouths shut. I don't know why anyone would think they could take on you, Sindhu, and his piles of credit. If we make a run for the shipping port, then maybe we could... Leave us alone! No, don't! Shipping port? That's gotta be where the shuttle is. We could face any number of difficulties there. Don't get complacent.
Chandler! I want them ready to move as soon as we've got a way out of this muck pit. Up. Look who's... Zahar! Don't let her walk out of here! Bring me Katine's head! Bring me Katine's head! information out of them and I don't see the shuttle hey over here <sighs> thank the stars you took care of those mandos they came in a shuttle do you know where it is no but you let me out and I'll help you search for anything one of them has to have a security key While I put in this security code, you can tell me about that Mandalorian shuttle. Give her a second. That's all right. But just so you know, wherever that shuttle is, you're not getting anywhere near it in this lockdown. Get all of us out of here, and we can help you work around all the security.
Thank you. Move, while we still have a chance. That's everyone. Is there somewhere safe you can go? There's a pilot commissary here that the Mandos cleared out. We'll hunker down in there. We'll put our feelers out for this shuttle you're looking for, but tracking it down could take a while. We've got a few ideas to speed things up. Just ask around. Good news? We found that shuttle. Bad news. It's locked up tight in the Tabana gas refinery. I know a way in. Get into the gas tunnels and look for crates with red markings. They'll lead you right into the refinery.
Group. Stars, this is horrible. Someone's in charge of all these guards. Let's find them. These slaves never learned our lesson. Oh, 
Confess! Confess! Intruders have breached the perimeter! <laughs> The Mandalorians who came here. Where is their shuttle? Oh, how dare you! Invading my home, disrupting my business. These ungrateful wretches belong to me. I'll have your head for leading them astray! If that were true, you would have done it already. Or perhaps you should have hired security with better aim. You will not question the potency of my personal detail. Do you have any idea how much they're worth? The hot cocktail will not look kindly on this act of aggression. <sighs> Your Imperial friends will regret what you have done here. I will personally ensure it. They will rue the day you dare to challenge the Majestic you single. Who are you? No time for that. You're looking for a Mando shuttle, right? I know where to find it. How did you... Just come on. What other option do you have? Fine, move. No, wait. We can help you. I've got this. If you want to help, the best way is to get to our safe house. I'll explain more there. Get to the tunnels. I'll tell you over comms how to get there. Now go! Hurry! <laughs> this is getting messier by the second. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have blown up those gas canisters. It doesn't matter now. Let's go. In the tunnels. Good! You're going to end up at an intersection with four connections. Go north from left.
Once you go up the big ramp, make sure you're heading east. To make it to the scaffolding yet. If so, you're almost there. Am I supposed to climb down into whatever that is down there? Uh, it's fine. Uh, the best part about it, no one who works for you, Sindhu, would ever dream of getting near it. Uh, watch your step on the way down. Oh, you're here. Adi told me you were coming. He'll be here soon. <laughs> Racket. We lost Treva. In the courtyard. Blast it! She was our only way into the alarm systems. I know. But I'm hoping these fine people can help us pick up the slack. Uh, quick introductions. I'm Adi. This is Racket. Pretty sure we know who you are. But what do we call you? I'm, uh, Sahar. Great. Uh, you probably noticed, but we're trying to get a lot of people out from under the tail of Yusindu, our esteemed employer. You also probably noticed it's not going well. You can! Uh, funny, I was preparing to beg. Words getting around. Some of our people back in town said that you were looking for a Mando shuttle? As fate would have it, you're after the same thing we are. Eh, more or less. The shuttle is in the refinery's hangar, the same place we're trying to get into. We've spent months working out a way to break in, but... After that explosion, we're short a lot of the people we needed to make this work. You help us see this through, and we'll all get into that hangar. Right to that Mando shuttle you're looking for! Yusindu locked everything down once he realized we were fighting our way out. Like clockwork. When Mandalorians showed up, we thought that was the end. Turns out they had nothing to do with you, Sindhu. He locked up the Mando shuttle, uh, the one you're after, in the refinery hangar, along with every ship, speeder, and cargo loader in the district. There are enough shuttles in there to get all of us out of here. Off Hutta. To freedom. We just need to get into that hangar. You will. We'll help you. Right? A few things. If it helps, what we need to be done should be very simple for the two of you. The same can't be said if you decide to take on Yusindu and his infinite number of goons on your own. We need to get them out of the way. We also need to make sure our people can defend themselves against any surprises that might be waiting in the hangar. We've tried this enough times to have worked out all the kinks. If we're going to hit Yusindu where it hurts, we need weapons, explosives. Ways to take out his fancy guards. We really only need enough to clear a safe path through the shuttles. We know exactly what needs to be done. We just need the bodies to do it. And we need to help them stay alive in the process. We've got everything broken down over here. Give it a look when you're ready to get started.
Ready. We've never been so ready. If we don't move now, we're never going to get another shot like this. Oh, there is one more thing. Sahar, can you take a look at the encryption tokens on our comm frequencies? We can't risk you Sindhu's people slicing into our chatter. I get the feeling you know a thing or two about the subject. Oh, of course. I'll be right back. This has all been hard on her. Every thought in her head is darkened by our struggle. And the struggles of another. But helping people seems to mend her broken resolve a bit. Everything you've done so far will slow down Yusindu's reinforcements. But it won't last forever. If we're gonna pull this off before the slug's backup can get past our defenses, we'll need to split up for the last phase of the plan. That means you're on your own. Can you handle that? Too important to rely on assumptions. I need verbal confirmation before we move. From everyone. Audie's going to get the hangar's freight elevator up and running. That'll get enough people inside to overwhelm the security teams that are already there. Which means more people on those shuttles, and more people out of this swamp. I'll be running point on the turret defenses, making sure those are shut down before we get into the hangar. You, my friend, have the most important job of all. Even when we control the hangar, our window of time to get out of there is too short. We can't manually input destination coordinates into every shuttle. If you get into the control tower, you can transmit destination codes to everyone all at once. I'll send the coordinates once we're on the move. I've done repairs on the control tower's console before. It can be a little finicky. Let me walk you through how to make it work if you run into any problems. While you two do that... I'll go check on Sahar. Here. Do not tell Adi I gave you this. Because... Because he won't understand. Not unless I show him. Just put these coordinates into the control tower console when it's time. The shuttle coordinates Adi's going to send you. They go to Rhodia. He thinks we'll all be safe there. But the Huts took him when he was a kid. He hasn't been back since. We won't know anybody. We'll have nothing. It won't be home. The coordinates I gave you will take us to an Evakai rebel camp. On Hudda. I've already made contact with them. They're willing to take us in. If we pull our weight. He thinks that it's too dangerous to stay, even if we leave the district. He doesn't think we have it in us to fight, even though we've been fighting this whole time. But when it's not your home the Huts have left their stench all over, I'm sure it's easy to leave. Please, don't make me beg. I can't run away like Audie wants me to. Looks like everyone knows what they've got to do. Ready? Time to go.
We're throwing everything we've got at them, but the guards just keep coming! Past this door. I've got it. Incoming. here. There's a safety protocol that keeps overriding all of my attempts at overloading the turrets. Same here. 
Every time I slice past the lockdown operation, I get a warning that the elevator can't run until the emergency systems have been turned off. Are you kidding me? When did you send to install safety features? I don't know, but if I don't figure this out soon, a whole lot of people aren't getting out of here with us. And if that rotten slug gets wind of what we're doing before I knock out these turrets, we're all going to have a bad time. Don't worry, we'll figure this out. We don't have time to reach both of them. seen anything like this safety protocol. There's gotta be a guard around who has the security code cylinder to turn it off. I'll find one. I have the security code cylinder. Find a security junction. You can upload the code remotely to me. That's it. Security code uploaded. Racket? Just a few more seconds.
close. We need to move, Adi. Right. Let's get out of here. You've had a difficult path getting here. I hope it gets easier. Don't worry about us. Wait! Maybe we could still fix the freight elevator. Give everyone down below a fighting chance. We have to go. Now. Or none of this will have mattered. You'll never make it unless the two of you work together. Come on. I can't do this without you. All right! I'm right behind you! You two better get moving. I hope we did the right thing. We need to hurry. What's the plan once we're aboard? How do we find the Holocron? Come on, Sahar. You've made it all this way. Don't falter now. I know. I know what I need to do, just... After all that, so many were left behind. What if they never find each other again? I feel like we made things worse. Everyone who made it to the shuttles has two strong leaders behind them. Adi and Rocket will keep them safe. I hope you're right. I need to know the plans are. The system's access room is right next to the shuttle bay. We need to get to it fast. I have the codes to shut off alarms, comms, area restrictions, anything that could slow us down, and anything that can keep Hedda from sending the rest of her fleet after us. Whatever you're going to do, make sure you do it quickly. If you do this, word will get back to Heta. And your brother. They'll know it was you. I... I know.
Come on. Don't let them call for reinforcements. They know we're here now. We can shut off the alarms and systems access. Go! What's happening? My security code stopped working. Come on! Into the maintenance shaft. I can slice the comm channels from there. I released the locks on every door on this ship. If they haven't noticed something's wrong by now... Then we need to move! Not until I shut down their comm channels. That takes care of the alarms.
It's her! Get away from them! No! I'm not going to hurt you! Don't listen to her! Everyone stand your ground! How do you know my sister? See? You can trust us. We're here in the first place! She and her Mando friends ripped us away from our lives, our homes, our families. Most of us didn't even know we could use the Force. And now you know what they're going to make us do? Please, we don't have time to argue. Just come with us. We're not going anywhere with either of you.
Professor Cole built this? Not just her. If I hadn't... This ends right now. We shut it all down. And without the Holocron, Hedda can't do this again. Don't you dare speak! Disgusting, worthless filth! I see what you are. You tricked Hedda. Blinded her with your Jedi sorcery. Turned her away from me. Now you betray her! You betray me! This is why you came back. Why you couldn't stay away. There was still something left to take from me. What did I take from you? Everything! I gave you everything. I turned my back on my friends, on my home, to find you. To fix a mistake that someone else made. I taught you what no one else would. I went against everything I believe in to follow your field marshal. I'm done, Rakan. Head is not going to hurt anyone else. We're taking the Holocron. This isn't the time for family drama. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Go. Now. Rakan, you're going to die if you keep listening to Hedda. And for what? Will she even notice? We can fix this. Both of us. Weak, Sahar! You can't even face me alone! Come on, don't! Defense systems have been initialized. I told Hannah not to trust you! Now she will see the truth! I don't care about her, Rikon! Reactor core containment systems damaged. Electronic outflow incidents may occur. You let Hannah off the true path! I didn't even want this! I just wanted to help you! Reactor core containment systems deteriorating. Urgent repairs necessary. Don't do this! We'll all die! I don't care! If that's what it takes to stop you from ruining Hedda's plans! Reactor core containment systems meltdown imminent. All hands abandon ship. Stop! 
the fall that killed you! There will be nothing left of you! Why won't you die? I'm not finished with you! There will be nothing left of you! Why won't you die? There will be nothing left of you! This ship, and if I have to destroy it, Recon! We have to move! No! Help me! Hold on!
Is anyone hurt? We need to get moving now. We're good. No thanks to you. This is going to be close. Yeah, but how long before those Mandalorians track us down again? I can't believe the wayward Padawan had it in her, to actually strike against the hidden chain. Where is she now? She's of no further use to us, and she cannot be allowed to return to the Republic. It was chaos. We got separated. And I'm not sure she made it out alive. No great loss. Let us consider that loose end secured. After all, she was nothing more than a means to recovering Darth Maul's holocron. Where is it? Right here, of course. Whatever Malgus and Hetacol had planned for this, it's ours now. So much worry and irritation for that. And now you simply hold it in the palm of your hand. I trust that it will soon find its way home to the Empire. I secured it. I'm keeping it. For now? As for your esteemed guests, I expect you will take them to Korriban. Immediately. They're coming with me. I am insisting that you reconsider. We are at war, and on the verge of another front opening up before our very eyes. Now is not the time for such selfish obstinance. Is that all? With the first whisper of betrayal, you said to reign in the clans. I should have listened. But I'll cut you a deal. You don't say I told you so, and I won't either. We needed someone suited to all the practical nonsense of leadership. I told you that wasn't me. If Hedda continues, we lose everything. All of us, the Republic and the Sith, will destroy the Mandoate no matter whose banner they carry. Shielding us from an outside threat, ensuring our future, is something I can do. It's what I will do.
person who can tell me how to find her. The reason that Sith Bespetrache ended up in her hands. I hope you understand. 